Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aquarius. And this is going to be an overview for you for January 2024. I will be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using my Simplicity Tarot. <laughs> so, let's see what messages we have for you, Aquarius. So Aquarius, this is for you. The Ace of Pentacles. New financial opportunity not too long ago. The Queen of Pentacles. Learning how to handle that money or this could be a Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn in your environment. The Nine of Wands. Resilient or maybe you're putting someone behind you here. I don't know. The Six of Cups. Something about the past and love. Memories. The Seven of Cups in your head. A lot about love here. You're really thinking about someone. What's going on, Aquarius? The Queen of Cups. It could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio that you're thinking about. What's going on? We have the Two of Wands. You have a choice. One out of two paths. It's up to you. The Nine of Pentacles, giving birth to your dreams, seeing the fruits of your labor, maybe moving into a new home. There's a key in her hand. Right there. <laughs> Just be patient. Or maybe you need to find balance. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So the Ace of Pentacles was the first card that came out. New opportunity, finances, um, maybe a promotion, came into some money, but something new where money was concerned. So on top of the Ace of Pentacles, we got the Seven of Swords, we got the Lovers, and we got the Knight of Coins. Now the Seven of Swords is about somebody was sneaking in your environment. Who was that? It was somebody, it was matters of the heart here too. Somebody where love was concerned took away some of your hard work, your hard earn, earnings, stuff you worked for. You got the seven of swords. Now this is past energy, okay? This is the lovers and this is the knight of coins. Please take what resonates and leave what does not, okay, darlings? These cards are not etched in stone, okay? They're not etched in stone. Anything can change because we have free will. So then you got the queen of pentacles. This could be an earth energy in your environment, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, or maybe you're knowing or you're taking care of the finances here. You got the Knight of Cups. This might be a love interest here. We got the Knight of Cups here. We got the Fool and we got the Eight of Coins. It brought you a new beginning. It was some romance that came in. Okay. And the Eight of Coins. Very focused on making this money back or something. I don't know. You'll tell me in the comments if, if anything. So we got the Knight of Cups. We got the food because, you know, I don't know the exact situation. And we got the eight of coins. Very focused. Learning all you can learn about a situation, a new financial opportunity for you, something. But then we got the nine of wands here. This is about you being resilient. Getting back up after something knocks you down. You know, you just get back up. We got the two of wands. You got choices. 
said you got two ones down here too. You got choices that will bring you some celebration and happiness. Choices from the past. We have the two of ones. We have the three of cups. And we have the six of cups. And then we have the six of cups again. You really in the past, aren't you, Aquarius? What's going on with you? Okay, we got the Hierophant, we got the Queen of Wands, and we got the Three of Wands, the Hierophant. I mean, this could be a relation, but of course, it's about the heart. I don't know if it was a marriage or if it was something that you committed to. Um, but we got the Queen of Wands here, too. This is a fire energy. Or maybe you found your courage, you know, to face things, to expand your horizons. I don't know, you know. Um, we got the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands. That could be a fire energy. That could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. But whatever it is, it's something that's going to expand your horizons here. We got the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Okay. And then you have the Seven of Cups. You really deep in your thoughts here. You see the card? It looks like you're in your head a lot about this love. This conflict here for you. Um... We got the King of Cups, but well, I guess two cards came out there. We got the King of Cups, which could be, not which could be, it is a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. You're having a conflict with them right now, but you're about to have some mental clarity pretty soon or some communication, new communication. Um, you got to be logical, okay, Aquarius? Not that you're not. It's just that I don't know what happens with you sometimes where love is concerned. Uh, you got the King of Cups, you got the Five of Swords, and you got the Ace of Swords. Okay, come on now, we can do this. Now we got the Queen of Cups. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. You got the mindset of lack, and you feel heavy where this energy is concerned. I don't know. And you got this heavy feeling because of something from uh, Earth energy. I, I can't... Uh, uh, Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. You got something. Something is, is heavy on you from... I don't know. Is someone telling you something here? We got the Five of Coins. We got the Ten of Wands. And we got the King of Coins. Only you know, Okay. <laughs> King of Coins, too, could be maybe you found the balance. The Five of Coins, now, that's temporary. It's not going to last long. It's temporary, okay? So stop worrying. You're worrying unnecessarily, all right? You got something heavy on your shoulders. You might want to get off your shoulders. I don't know. Um, there's an ending here. Um, there's an ending where love was concerned. I got the Ten of Swords. I got the Page of Cups and the Five of Cups. You know, you had a choice, and you probably made your choice, you know? And you're crying over it right now. I, but there was an ending here. And then right after that, you got the Nine of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands, which is happiness in your community, but you deep in thought. You're still keeping your eye on the prize. What's going on with you, Aquarius? You got to tell me the story in the comments. Because it's a little confusing. It's like there's a breakup, and then there's arguing, and then it's finished, and then it's more. Then you're still holding on to the feelings because you're still feeling love for this energy. And you want the happiness, and you're deep in thought. You know, and you're hoping and you, you're thinking about it. But there's something holding you back. That's the Four of Wands. That's the Four of Cups. And that's the Star card. Then we got the Temperance card. And the Temperance card, you got to learn to balance, babies. You got choices. But you need to, you got to make a choice. You got to stop procrastinating. There's something that's making you, keeping you to stand still here. Then we got the Magician. We got the Seven of Cups. We got the Hangman and the Magician. The Magician is that you're very magical right now. But something is blocking you. What's blocking you, Aquarius? You got to ask yourself this. You need to meditate. You need to think about you. Open your heart up, okay? Start loving you and taking care of you, babies. So we got the Seven of Cups. We got the Hangman. And we got the Magician. Okay, if you made choices, stand by them. You know what I'm saying? Don't be sad. Look, babies, and I'm going to leave this right here. You're going to find your inner strength. You're going to find your inner strength. No matter what. Remember, life is a little up and down. Be open. All right? Be open. I love you guys. I want you to take care of yourselves. There are beautiful things ahead for you. And I'll chat with you soon.